Hey class, today we're going to talk about factoring sums and difference of cubes. Uh, we're going to start with a second example. I have a previous video that shows a more basic example. Uh, for this example, uh, we have 16x cubed plus 54. If I need to completely factor this, uh, the first thing we want to do is always, always look for a greatest common factor, a GCF. And in this case, I can divide both of these by 2. So if I rewrite my factors without the factor of 2, I'm going to have 2 times 8x cubed plus 27. At this point, those two terms don't have anything else in common, but you can see that it is a sum of two perfect cubes. Now, the way I like to factor this is first to focus on what is being cubed. So I can ask myself, 8x cubed is what cubed? And it is 2x cubed. And then 27 is 3 cubed. And that kind of gives me a little shortcut to getting the first part of my factored form of this sum of cubes. It's going to be 2x plus 3. So I know if I'm going to write the factors for this, I have that 2 that I factored out from the beginning. And then I have a 2x plus 3 times, and then I still have to kind of figure out uh, what else is going to go uh, for my other factored form. To do this, I like to use a box. It's kind of like a little puzzle box. So I make a 3 by 2 box. And the factor that I've already figured out, the 2x plus 3, is going to go on the side of my box. And inside the box, I know I need to end up with 8x cubed and a positive 27. Sorry, my pen is all messing up here. And so now I can kind of work this box and ask myself, OK, what times 2x is 8x cubed? It's going to be 4x squared. Then if I take my 4x squared and I multiply it to 3, I'm going to have a positive 12x squared down here. Now I can also look on this side of my box and say what times 3 gives me a 27. It's going to be a positive 9. And then I can take that positive 9 times 2x and get a positive 18x inside the box. Now, if we look at what we want to end up with, we want to end up with only an 8x cubed plus 27, which means I don't want a 12x squared. I don't want an 18x in there. So I need to get a negative 12x squared and a negative 18x inside this box to cancel those terms out. And in order to make that happen, I need a negative 6x up here at the top to multiply into the box to give me those terms. And I've solved my puzzle. So my factors of 8x cubed plus 27 is 2x plus 3. And 4x squared minus 6x plus 9. And of course, we had that 2 on the outside from the very beginning when we factored out that greatest common factor. 